Hello everyone, myself Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to this daily dose series for civil and mechanical engineers. As you all know, in this series, we discuss an important concept through the short trick or sometimes through the numerical and try to make it simple and easier for you to understand. So in today's session, I will be going to talk about one of the important concept of fluid mechanics and that we will understand through a short trick that is how to determine the center of pressure all right before i start this is my quick introduction i am mechanical engineering graduate from iit delhi having more than 10 years of teaching experience all right so let us first try to understand what exactly is the hydrostatic force the hydrostatic force is nothing but the pressure force which is exerted by the fluid which is in hydrostatic condition. So the hydrostatic force is given by pressure multiplied by area of the surface. But the problem is pressure is varying in vertical direction according to hydrostatic law. For a static fluid, the variation of pressure in vertical direction is linear for incompressible fluid that is hydrostatic flow. So we can say the pressure is variable parameter. So we cannot directly find out the value of hydrostatic or the pressure force. What we need to do is we need to go for integration, right? We have to do the integration to determine the magnitude of the total hydrostatic force. And then after calculating the hydrostatic force, we need to find out what is the point where this hydrostatic force is supposed to be acting. That point is known as center of pressure. What is center of pressure? The point of application of the total hydrostatic force or we can call it as the point where the hydrostatic force is supposed to be acting. The way we define the center of gravity as the point of application of gravity force or the weight of the body. Similarly, the point of application of hydrostatic force is nothing but the center of pressure. So we can determine the expression for hydrostatic force and the depth of center of pressure for a vertical plane surface by, by integrating the force or by integrating DF for the whole plane surface for the whole vertical plane surface. We develop an expression for hydrostatic force as Rho is the density of the fluid into G into area of the vertical plane surface A and X bar. X bar is the depth of centroid of the vertical plane surface from the free surface of the liquid. And by equating the moment about the free surface, we develop the formula for depth of CP from the free surface of the liquid. All the parameters or all the measurements are done from the free surface that is depth of cp central pressure from free surface of the liquid the formula will be given by x bar plus ig x bar is again the the uh, depth of centroid of the vertical plane surface from the free surface ig is the area moment of inertia of the vertical plane surface about its centroidal axis which is parallel to the base similarly a is the area of the plane surface, x bar is again the depth of center of the plane surface. Now, this is the normal procedure to calculate the magnitude of hydrostatic force on a vertical plane surface and the depth of center of pressure for the particular hydrostatic force acting on a vertical plane surface. Now, I will be talking about a trick, but let me tell you this trick to calculate to find out the depth of center of pressure is applicable only for the surfaces, spatial surfaces, which I am talking about here. If the vertical plane surface is in the form of a rectangle, having the top edge of the rectangle coinciding with the free surface, if this is the situation, then if I ask you what is the value of x bar, depth of centroid of this rectangle, let me call it as width, width of the rectangle as b, depth of the centroid of this rectangle from the free surface is x bar. Can we say x bar will be equal to h by 2? Do you agree? That is the depth of centroid from the free surface. And now to find out the depth of center pressure for this 
वर्टिकल रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेन सरफेस विच इज हैविंग द टॉप एज को इनसाइडिंग विद फ्री सरफेस बाई एडिंग वन इन द न्यूमरेटर एंड वन इन द डिनोमिनेटर इफ वी एड वन इन द न्यूमरेटर वॉट डू वी गेट द न्यूमरेटर विल बिकम टू एच द डिनोमिनेटर विल बिकम थ्री सो टू एच बाई थ्री इज द डेप्थ ऑफ सी पी फॉर दिस रेक्टेंगुलर प्लेन सरफेस डू यू गेट इट वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू इवन बाई यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो एच सी पी इज इक्वल टू एक्स बार प्लस आई जी बाई ए एक्स बार इफ वी पुट द वैल्यूज इन द फॉर्मूला एक्स बार इज एच बाई टू आई जी विल बी इक्वल टू द मोमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी पासिंग थ्रू द सेंट्रो दिस विल गिव यू आई जी दैट इज बी इंटू एच क्यू बाई ट्वेल्व इंटू एरिया इज बी इंटू एच इंटू एक्स बार इज एच बाई टू इफ यू डू द कैलकुलेशन देन यू विल ऑप्टेन द सेम रिजल्ट वी हैव ऑप्टेन यूजिंग द ट्रिक सिमिलरली इफ द प्लेन सर्फेस वर्टिकल प्लेन सर्फेस इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए ट्राइंगल and the triangle is also having the top edge coinciding with the free surface let me call the base of the triangle coinciding with the free surface and the base is b this is the free surface and height of the triangle is let us say h what we will do is again we will find out the depth of centroid of this triangle we will call it as x bar from the free surface is x bar what is the value of x bar isn't it uh, h by 3 1 by 3 into h now how to find out the depth of cp again add 1 in the numerator and add 1 in the denominator so the numerator will become 2 h by denominator will become 4 isn't it so that is h cp can we call it as h by 2 2 h by 4 is nothing but h by 2 so the depth of center of pressure from the free surface where the hydrostatic force is supposed to be acting is given by h by 2 here the force is supposed to be shown here the hydrostatic force is supposed to be acting right similarly if there is another vertical plane surface in in the form of a triangle but here the vertex of the triangle is coinciding with the free surface the base is let us say b and height is let us say h again we will find out the location of x bar the centroid the depth of centroid from the free surface is x bar so what is x bar here x bar will be 2h by 3 isn't it now to find out the depth of center of pressure we will add 1 in the numerator we will add 1 in the denominator the numerator will become 3 h and the denominator will become 4 that is the depth of center of pressure from the free surface so the location of cp and the depth of the cp from the free surface of the liquid is 3h by 4 we can check the values using the formula also the formula is hcp is equal to x bar plus ig by ax bar but let me clear you this short trick are not the standard results these short tricks are only to memorize the value of depth of center of pressure for these special figures when the shape is a rectangle or a triangle having the top edge coinciding with the free surface it is not applicable for all the other surfaces so it is not the the concept it is just the short trick for memorizing the depth of center of pressure for these standard surfaces i hope this is clear i hope you guys have enjoyed the session and you will be able to memorize the depth of cp for these three particular surfaces that is all from my side see you in the next such video thank you very much